Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Leaf Green. I am Mr. Envelope, and today we are continuing where we left off last time. Um, we left off here in Lavender Town. A very creepy place. <laughs> Little girls talking about ghosts, people talking about Team Rocket killing a Cubone's mother. If you guys don't know what a Cubone is, by the way, let's go ahead and take a look in our Pokedex. Um, Cubone's probably a mountain Pokemon. Not a Mankey, not a Machop. Not a Clefairy or a Clefable, but a Cubone right here. We haven't caught one, so we don't know what they're like, but they are very sad Pokemon, and they are said to wear the skull of their deceased mothers. Very creepy, very spooky, especially for Pokemon. By the way, off camera, I uh, headed, I headed down here really quick just to see uh, how far it went, how it was structured. Um... I love the complete change of music tone, by the way. <laughs> um, I talked to this girl, and she gave me a TM called Return. Uh, the move lets you attack, obviously, but the power of the move is based off of how much your Pokemon likes you. On that happiness meter, that doesn't really show. If we taught it to Golbat, it would be at its full power, which I think is like 110? I could be completely wrong, by the way. Um, but it is a normal type attack, and I think Clefebe would probably have an easier time using it, or a better time, um, because she already loves us, probably. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? Uh, no, but, but she's also normal type, so uh, keeping another normal type move on her would give her a bit of an attack uh, bonus, you know, just for being the same type and everything. So I think I'm going to actually go ahead and do that. We'll get rid of Pound. I think uh, Return is going to be a lot better. Yeah, there you go. Quick little info on return. And Clefebe learned return. Awesome. Also, this girl did say that uh, her Pokemon uh, is buried in the... Or its ashes are in the, the Pokemon Tower, so she won't be needing the move anymore. But I thought we would head down here a little bit. I know we can't progress too far, but also there's going to be tons of trainers out down here. A lot of fishermen. Yeah, lots of trainers around here. <laughs> uh, some of them are, you know, trying to fish like they should be. I'm just going to... No! <laughs> I was trying to sneak past him. I just wanted to show something really quick. Uh... <laughs> well, that was just crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, there's two trainers right there. I know we can fight them, but I wanted to show you that the sleeping uh, Snorlax is right here. So we still can't quite go uh, south, but that's still there. <laughs> like, we, we can, you know, try to come this way, but it's not going to work out too hot. All right, guys. So our Pokemon, uh, let's see. I The next gym that we're going to fight, I know, is going to be Grass-type. She's going to have Grass-type Pokemon. Um... We don't really have anything that's going to do us too hot against Grass-type, except for Golbat's Flying-type moves, and I don't want to rely too much on Golbat, uh, so I'm not going to train him too much, but that does mean that Wartortle's probably not going to see much of the spotlight. That's why I'm trying to get him leveled up, because I'm going to probably focus on training these two a bit later on, and I don't want him to fall behind. Um, so right now, we're going to head inside of the Pokemon Tower, and take a look at what's going on inside. This place is very creepy. I came to pray for my dearly departed Clefairy. Did you come to pay respects? Bless your Pokemon loving heart, son. Everybody's so nice in here. <laughs> my Growlithe, why did you die? I am a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief. I sense them high in the tower. Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of Pokemon that died. Yeah, I think we got that. Here we go. Now there actually are. Uh oh. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Hey Red, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Oh my god. <laughs> hey, it's alive. I can at least make them faint. Let's go. Very interesting to run into our rival over here. Oh my god, he has like a whole team of five. I'm so screwed. Except maybe not. Our Pokemon's like almost ten levels stronger than his. So let's go ahead and just try to knock him out with attacks. I don't want to try no strategical things. 
That did like no damage. That is really frustrating. So what I like about this gym fight, or not gym fight, we're not in a gym, come on. <laughs> Um, there's a bit of a change on his team, uh, before, oh really, come on, before, Blue had a Rattata, and when we fought him last time, it evolved into Eradicate. Uh, we're gonna be going through this battle and everything, and, uh, his, his Raticate's gonna be gone. Um, a lot of people believe that his Raticate died, and that's why he's here. I don't know if that's true, but I like to believe that it is because it's a it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, people also say that uh, it's us who killed his Raticate. Like we we battled it too too harshly. I I, I don't I don't really buy that because <laughs> I don't see how our Pokemon battle could like you know kill his Raticate. But it's something pretty interesting. Uh, he has a Kadabra. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, maybe not. I should have used, uh, Wartortle. If he uses a Psychic-type move, which I'm sure he's gonna... Oh, no! He flinched! Awesome. Okay, he's dead. Oh, we're going through this. Easy peasy. A Gyarados! How did you get a Gyarados? Yep. That's a very helpful ability. Let's go ahead and confuse him. You can have a Gyarados all you want. We have a shiny Golbat, and she's beautiful. With her nasty green color. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, yeah, let's just go Wing Attack. Gyarados is Water Flying type. It's not Dragon type at all. Um, I always thought that was kind of weird. And uh, our, our Wing Attack isn't going to be doing that much damage. Really? Let's just go for it. Ah. Okay, let's bring out Clefebe. Aha! I knew he'd get confused. Um, let's use Return. Just see how strong it is. Oh, it's not going to do any difference. But I think that was the animation for the strongest return, because the animation will also change uh, depending on how strong the move is going to be. So I think that was the strongest one, so that's good for us. Uh, he's bringing out Growlithe, the fire type. Let's go ahead and use our Wartortle. And it is his last Pokemon, so yeah, his Raticate is gone. He still has room on his team, so... I mean, I don't know. He could have just put it in the PC, because Raticates, I mean, they're good. They're just not the best, you know? And dead. Er, not dead. Fainted. What? You stinker? <laughs> he called us a stinker. <laughs> so lame. How's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better bet get I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, unlike you. Smell you later. This guy's sounding a lot like Saha. Anyways, how's our team doing? Golbat fainted, so let's go ahead and uh, fix that. I went ahead and bought some revives at the end of last episode. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. And he's back. Awesome. We'll leave her. Uh, we'll leave her half health, half healed. Um, but anyways, I wanted to trade up our War Turtle here because there's a lot of Ghost type Pokemon in here. Oh. Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A Sylph Scope might be able to unmask them. Interesting. Anyways, when there's fog on the ground, or in the room, that means that Pokemon are afoot. Also, a lot of these creepy people. <laughs> Kiki Ki Kua. Oh, me oh my. That is a scary looking sprite. But everyone in here has Ghost-type Pokemon, like Gastly's and Haunters. I don't think anyone has a Gengar. That is just too difficult. But yeah, I wanted to train a more Turtle because I'm pretty sure he can uh, just one-shot all these guys. And I want to get him a bit stronger before we go fight the gym. Now, everyone's saying that there's like a ghost in here? At least these uh, last couple channelers were. 
Every time I say Chandler, I'm thinking Chandler from Friends. And I'm getting confused. But yeah, they're saying that there's a ghost in here. One of them called it the Wayward Ghost. That's haunting the Pokemon Tower. I'm pretty sure that's why there's a bunch of Chandlers here. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. I can't, I can't not think of Chandler. Let's go ahead and see what Meowth got us. And a Spearberry! An Elixir, very nice. And here we go, a wild encounter of... A ghost! Darn, the ghost can't be ID'd! Go War Turtle! I forgot that we actually can't really find any Pokemon in here. We can try to attack it, but Wartortle will be too scared to move. And the ghost will just say, get out. It won't hurt you. It won't hurt you at all. But uh, that's about it. And uh, what we got to do is basically just run. An awakening. Very nice. And down here. Oh, I was going to fight her. That's why I had gone up to her. All right. And a great ball. Very nice, very nice. Ghost! No! Qua! Okay, let's head up again. Ah, that is a scary symbol on the ground. Another ghost! Oh, I was waiting for her to look at me. You shall join us. Come, child. I have purified this space. You can rest here. And walking on this area, our Pokemon get healed up, which is very nice. Also, right here, we got a cleanse tag. I forget what this does. There's a couple tags in the game. A lot of them do different things. An item to be held by a Pokemon. It repels wild Pokemon if the holder is first in the party. Very cool. Is uh, War Turtle holding anything? No, he's not. We can give this to him, and we'll probably encounter a lot less Pokemon. Um, that's also something I haven't really done. You can actually give your Pokemon different items to hold. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> you can give your Pokemon different items to hold. Uh, if you give them berries, they'll use them in battle. Like, if I gave... Um, let's see. If I gave Clefebe a Cherry Berry, and she was paralyzed in battle... She'll eat the berry automatically and heal herself. So, very handy, very nice. Um, if you give them a citrus berry, it'll heal 10, 10 HP. Um, if they get low into the orange in their uh, hit points, very handy, very cool thing to do. But they can't use items like potions, um, you know, man-made items. They can only use natural items on their own. But if you give them uh, items that have battle effects, like the spell tag or something... Um, That'll just, that'll just help your Pokemon. Like, the effect will take effect. The effect will kick in just, you know, being on the Pokemon. Ooh, nice, a nugget. Urg, urf. I wish they would actually say something. I'd like to know uh, what their thoughts are on the ghost in the building. Ugh, I accidentally used Tackle. Normal type attacks have zero effect on ghost type Pokemon. There are a couple ways around it. You can use uh, moves called Foresight or Odor Sleuth. Um, those make it so you can attack any Pokemon regardless of it being a ghost and you being normal type or something. Things like that. Oh my. That Ghastly just cursed us. Curse is like an another status condition. You can't really heal it. Uh, the only way out of it is if you die or if you switch out. Whoa, this chick has a Haunter. Very cool. I always liked uh, the sprite for Haunter in these games because he had that glowing red hand. Very creepy. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure we've defeated all the Chandlers. That's not true. Give me blood! And War Turtle's up to level 36. We defeated another Chandler. Chandler. And War Turtle's evolving. Awesome! War Turtle evolved into Blastoise. 
Super swell. I love it. Let's check the Pokedex. Just to, you know, get a quick look at it. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. It powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. It often hides in water to stalk unwary prey. For fast swimming, it moves its ears to maintain balance. Oh, very cool. The pressurized water jets on this brutal Pokemon shell are used for high-speed tackles. Very awesome. I am so happy we have a Blastoise. <laughs> Alright, let's continue onward. We must be getting near the top. Also, that was the main reason why I wanted to level up Blastoise. I saw that he was close, and uh, I wanted him to, you know, just get there. <laughs> um, we're going to use Golbat now, level him up, because we're probably going to be using Golbat um, for our next gym fight, mostly. Alright, went ahead and switched the items there. Oh no, we missed something. I'll get it on the way out. <laughs> be gone, intruders! The ghost appeared. Darn, the ghost can't be ID'd. Go Golbat. Like many other ghosts, we can't fight it, so there's no point in, you know, trying to attack it or anything. But, this is the only ghost that is triggered every time we try to go up these stairs. And I'm pretty sure this is the spirit that all those Chandlers were talking about. <laughs> I still feel weird calling them Chandlers, even though it's what they are. Very strange, so we honestly can't progress any further. We're gonna have to come back with something that'll help us identify these ghosts. Someone did say the silk scope would help us. But I think for now, we should probably just try to get out of here. Can I use an escape rope? I can! Now since we'll have to backtrack, I'll go grab that item another time, but let me go heal up. <laughs> Alright guys, that is going to be it for this episode though. Uh, I was just looking at the time. I don't want this to go on too long. Thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm Mr. Envelope and I will see you guys next time. Also, let me know any nicknames you have for our Golbat and our Blastoise. And any other Pokemon I catch. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye But I get to pick first because Oak hates his grandson. Alright, over here we have Bulbasaur, the grass-type Pokemon. We have Squirtle, the water-type Pokemon. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to... <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> ah, nope. Okay, another one. Another one's coming. Uh, ah. Oh, I hit the villager! Oh.